The Lewitt Falls Trail starts at the Windy Pass Trailhead. It's a large parking lot, has a bathroom, and there's a side journey that I recommend you take. The trail is only about 9.2 miles round trip, 1,200 feet elevation gain, so not too much. 4,575 feet total elevation. The trail initially is an access road that's supposed to be for government vehicles only, but as you'll see, that's not always the case. I was fortunate that it was raining. It gave me a chance to check out my umbrella hat and see if it actually kept me dry in the rain. It did. If you take this trail, notice this sign on your left. That takes you to the Windy Pass Loop. Stay to the right and that'll take you to the trailhead for Lewitt Falls. This car is the only one that had government plates. All the others were from out of state. I'm not sure if they had special permission or privileges or something, but there was a bunch of other cars without government licenses. The rain finally let up as I began the trail to Lewitt Falls and I was able to put away my umbrella hat. A little dorky, but it worked. This is one of the most unique trails I have ever hiked. The complete absence of trees was in itself a little unsettling, and the trail itself is all pumice rock. You're constantly walking over ground up and bits of pumice. Although the volcano erupted over 30 years ago, the landscape still hasn't recovered. You have to remember that all of this that I'm hiking through was once forested. There are several other trails around Mount St. Helens. In fact, there's a trail that goes all the way around the mountain itself. I highly recommend this trail as it's some scenery you're just not going to find elsewhere in Washington State. And it is dramatic and beautiful in its own way. On the trail, I kept coming across trail runners, a lot more than normal. I couldn't figure out why, until I got to these guys. Go Beyond Racing was sponsoring a 50k run around the mountain. And these guys were a way station to check, make sure everyone was still on the trail, doing okay, got some water, got some food, and to inspire them with their funky outfits. On the trail, you'll come across several gullies. The trail leading to the gully is fairly obvious, the trail coming out of the gully is fairly obvious, but the trail inside the gully isn't always obvious. So when you come up the other side of the gully, you sometimes have to look around a little bit to figure out where the trail is. It's fairly easy. The trail has been pretty well worn down by the other hikers. In the distance there, you can see the pumice fields and beyond them, Spirit Lake. As my destination finally came into view, the clouds had begun to break up a little bit and there was even a little bit of sunshine. I considered getting closer to the falls, but the pumice rock just slips out from under your feet. The ascent was steep, a little too risky for my taste, so I decided this was a good place to sit and have some lunch and relax. I spent about an hour just sitting and enjoying the view and then decided it was time to head home. It's a long drive back from Mount St. Helens to where I live. This was definitely one of the most unique hikes that I've ever done. The landscape, the scenery, the, the ground itself. It's also very different from what I'm used to. I highly recommend this hike. And always my friends, I hope to see you out there. And thanks for joining me today.